Hello Grade 7! In this video, we will continue our discussion about sets. Please watch the part 1 of this lesson before you watch this, kung hindi mo pa napapanood. In our previous discussion, we discussed about the well-defined set. Let us recall. Determine if a given set is a well-defined set or not well-defined. Item 1. The set of vowels in the English alphabet. So, alam natin lahat ng vowels sa English alphabet. So, they are A, E, I, O, U. Therefore, 1 is well-defined. Next, 2. The set of intelligent students. Measurable ba siya? Hindi. Therefore, 2 is not well-defined. 3. The set of whole numbers less than 5. What are the whole numbers? So, we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on. Pero pinapakuha is less than 5. So, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Therefore, 3 is well-defined. Next, 4. The set of all rich people in Metro Manila. So, hindi rin natin makukuha yung set ng rich people or yung elements niya. So, therefore, 4 is not well-defined. Last, 5. The set of even numbers greater than 6 but less than 16. Even numbers. So, ano-ano sila? 8, 10, 12, 14. Kasi greater than 6. Hindi kasama si 6 but less than 16. Hindi rin kasama si 16. So, 5 is well-defined. So now, let us study the two ways of writing a set. The first one is roster or listing method. It represents a set by writing its elements inside a pair of braces and separated by commas. Ibig sabihin, kukunin daw natin lahat ng elements o yung elements ng set. Ililista natin sila lahat. Example, the set of first five natural numbers. So, anong mga natural numbers natin? So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on. Kailangan lang natin is first five. We can use or we can name this set or first example as a set A. So, we have set A is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Next, the set of all letters in the word mathematics. Okay, so this is a set B. B is equal to M, A, T, H, E, I, C, S. So always remember, each element of a set is unique. Ibig sabihin, there is no repetition between the elements of a set. Kaya yung M, A, at T, hindi na natin siya isinulat ulit. And order of the elements of a set does not affect the set itself. So, kahit na hindi maayos yung pagkakalagay natin ng letters, hindi siya sunod-sunod, hindi siya makaka-apekto dun sa elements ng set natin. Okay? Pero mas mainam, as much as possible, isulat natin siya ng mas maayos. Next, the set of whole numbers. So, in this case, maraming whole numbers. So, paano natin isusulat yung set? Okay, using this. So, C or set C is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3 ellipses. So, we can use ellipses to indicate that a set goes forever. Ibig sabihin, after 3, may kasunod pa sila. Okay? Next is rule method or set builder notation. It represents a set by rule or a statement written inside a pair of braces. So, dito, yung set natin is in a descriptive phrase. Example, set J is equal to 2, 3, 5, 7, 11. So, kung titignan, yung elements na 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, prime numbers sila. Pero meron tayong condition or rule. Okay? So, we have... J is equal to okay, x such that x is a prime numbers 
less than 12. Or kapag binasa natin siya, we have J is the set of all X such that X is a prime numbers less than 12. Okay, next, we have R is equal to January, June, July. So, kung you observe natin yung given elements, one or months, months siya na nagsisimula sa letter J. So, we have R or R is the set of all X such that X is a month whose name is starts with letter J. Next, C. S is equal to January, March, May, July, August, October, December. Okay. So, kapag sinulat natin siya using rule method or set builder notation, we have S or set S or S is the set of all X such that X is a month having 31 days. Let us move to the other type of a set, finite set. We can write all the elements of the set and count the number of elements. Ibig sabihin, countable ang elements or there is a definite number of elements. So, pwede nating makuha ang cardinality ng set. Example, the set of days in a week. Siyempre, sa loob ng isang linggo, meron lang tayong 7 days. So, yung first example natin, we may name this as set A. So, the cardinality of set A is equal to 7. What are the elements of set A? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So, countable yung elements. Next, the set of the first two add counting numbers. So, meron na tayong clue. Ang cardinality ay 2. So, set B or the cardinality of set B is equal to 2. What are the elements? Counting numbers. What are the elements of set B? Set B is equal to 1, 3. After finite set, we have infinite set. So, kabalik ta siya ng finite. We cannot write all the elements of the set and counting the number of elements never comes to an end. Uncountable na yung elements. Hindi na natin makukuha yung cardinality. Example, M or set M is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3 ellipses. Ibig sabihin dyan, pinapakuha daw lahat ng elements ng whole numbers. So, gumamit ng ellipses para ma-represent natin siya. Next, the set of all prime numbers. So, marami lahat ng prime numbers. Gamit ulit tayo ng ellipses. So, let us name this given a set L. So, set L is equal to 2, 3, 5, 7 ellipses.